Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Episode Terrica. We interrupt your normal YouTube programming this morning because we have something fun on the Castlevania front for you. Because in 2009, Konami made a Castlevania arcade game, uncreatively enough, called Castlevania the Arcade, which is one of the stupid rarest games I've been looking for a PCB for forever. It was a very unsuccessful game, and it is almost impossible to find. But thanks to a member of my Discord, Dreamcast, not Dreamcast, he was able to dump the original hard where off of his actual arcade board for preservation purposes so that if it ever had stopped working he would be able to flash a hard drive to restore his equipment and he was nice enough to preserve that for us all so what you're seeing right now is castlevania the arcade running on my standard windows 10 editing rig and it was actually pretty easy to get this far but i'll explain how you do that in just a moment but i do have a couple of konami arcade pcbs in the closet that are hard drive based so i'm going to be flashing a hard drive image and trying to bring one of those machines up as Castlevania the Arcade because I do own a lot of this hardware. But this is one of these lost Castlevania games that everyone always talks about. I have played this cabinet once and only once and I will tell you it is a really fun game that way more people should be able to enjoy because it is basically impossible to find a cabinet outside of private collections which is still rare or arcades which is even rare unless you go to Japan. So basically this is a lost game but I love changing that. Obviously if you've been watching my channel whatsoever you know I love arcade games. You know I love the light gun genre and this is basically a Wiimote acting as a whip which is acting as a light gun because this is an on-rail shooter sort of game. You'll see that controller there has a trigger button as well as a secondary button, and that is how you attack within this game. And that is really interesting. In arcades, it is a very fun mechanic, and trust me, you get sweaty swinging that whip around. It is a long game, and this feels like something that should have come out maybe on the PlayStation 3 with the Move controllers, but it remains an unported arcade game, and that's what we're going to be working on here. Because what I will tell you off the top is that we do have this running, it is set on free play, we do not yet have controls, and that's why I'm publishing this video early, because we're going to need some help to get the controls transposed over to something that will work on Windows 10. In my imagination, it is either a Wiimote or a mouse that you can swing around, because I have done that with another game, Maison Flash of the Blade, and it does effectively work if you transpose everything over. But my assumption is there is a JVS IO going into the back of the Konami PC because I have seen that on many other bits of hardware from them. And that's pretty much how everything in this era works. It's a PC in a box with some JVS. But just take a look at this, all of the pivoting, all of the swinging of the whip in the attract mode. This is an absolute blast of a game, and it's one that I'm assuming 99 out of 100 of you have never played before. But leave me a comment down below and tell me if you have played it. So in a moment, I'm going to go over how to actually get this running on your computer. But what I am doing is, I am not hosting a link anywhere on this video, but if you go over to that site, you know, the archive one, and search Castlevania the Arcade, you'll probably find something very, very shortly, if at all now, because I am doing this commentary live. That means that I am working on it, and the video is going out the same day, something I rarely have ever do. But that's how excited I am to bring an experience like this to everybody else, because I'm always talking about the preservation of video game history, especially on the arcade side. So this is always a fun time. Time. And again, big thanks to members of my Discord. I do not do this alone. I have a lot of help of other like-minded people that love arcade preservation and love new experiences. But let's get into how you actually get this game running. You're going to see a folder called HDD Repacked, and inside of that there's going to be a lot of files, most of which don't really seem to execute whatsoever. If you take select.exe here, nothing happens. But if you go into the HCV folder, that's where all of the quote-unquote magic's going to happen. you got a bunch of different things in here, like the bin folder that's going to have different DLLs and bins that don't really seem to be important to this process so far. They might be when we do controls, though. But if you go over into the HCV.app folder, HCV is going to be the executable for Castlevania the Arcade, and settings.csv is going to be how we actually get this running. We go into Notepad, and you're going to come over here, and you're going to see a lot of settings. You'll see the title is Cross. That must be the development name of Castlevania the Arcade. does make sense. But you will see that it needs to run in 1360 by 768 resolution. That is not a common resolution that most graphics card or monitors are going to run. So I have an NVIDIA card, so I go into NVIDIA Control Panel, and I create a custom resolution that matches the data within that Excel sheet. 
I do not know how to do this on the AMD side, but I bet you do. At the bottom of the first heading in settings, you're gonna see emulate IO and emulate sensor. We need to set those both as true or else the IR board check will not come back okay. Do not worry about the security check. Apparently Konami actually didn't code that in because we have done nothing to get it to boot and it just boots when you change those two settings and you are directly within the game. I was very surprised by that, happily so, because having reworked the 3DO M2 encryption for arcades, it can be an absolute pain in the butt to figure it out. But if you go down below there, you're going to have a lot of debug options, and unfortunately none of them seem to be able to use a mouse on the PC to control, even though you have mouse speed change equals true. And I did play around with all of those, and I have yet to get controls on keyboard or mouse, but I'm sure it's because something is going into the back of a JVS card on a system like this. Pretty much all the PC units, whether it's Taito or Konami or otherwise, are going to use that JVS standard. So that is what we're trying to figure out right now, and that is where the hive mind comes in. We need to get the controls pivoted over for something that would run outside of having a very specialized JVS card and a specialized controller. As you'll see, the cabinet there has those controllers, and I'll give you a close-up soon. But just because we can't play the game yet doesn't mean there isn't other fun to be had. I'm pretty sure this will get taken care of relatively quickly on the control side. You can go through the folder structure and see all of the endings for the game. Not really a spoiler here unless you speak Japanese because I have absolutely no idea what's going on. But there's a lot of ephemera data inside that disc folder that we can go through. And I can't wait to figure out how to get control set up for this and be able to get to these endings the proper way, which is playing in the arcade game. Because like I said, I've played this game exactly once. I put enough quarters in to see the ending and I absolutely love Loved my time with it and I can't wait to love my time with it again because there is one cabinet in Illinois but every time I go to that arcade it is non-functional in the back so maybe something like this dump could actually help that arcade be able to restore their game because all of these arcade games that run off mechanical hard drives are very prone to failure because that hard drive is constantly spinning up but some of the endings are absolutely hilarious I do not know how to trigger this but I can't wait to figure it out Dracula floats in with like three frames of animation and he's got that classic anime style something like Rondo of Blood here. I didn't translate it. Maybe somebody will and tell me if it is fun or not. I bet it is. And it's just a blast to see this running on my machine at home until I get it running on my Konami PCBs. And that is my ultimate plan. You'll see there he was whipped and he fades away. And this kind of feels almost like the alien endings from Silent Hill. I'm not sure what's going on, but I love it all the same. But here is what we're really working at right now. The game's executing fine. I have no freezing issues whatsoever so far. That doesn't mean it won't happen. We need to figure this out right here. This controller that definitely looks like it is wearing a condom on top, that is what we need to get the control out of. It is a sensor-based system with two buttons, but I know it can be done because it's been done in other games before, and that's what I mean when I say we enlist the hive mind to figure these things out. Someone from my Discord helps sourcing the hard drive off original hardware, somebody else helps me get the game running, and I put all the pieces in place to try to get it to you so that you can enjoy it and it is preserved for everybody. Because trust me this is fun i can't wait to show you this game it's so much better than silent hill the arcade the other konami franchise like gun game from the same era it's just a wild time and it's one that i know every single castlevania game fan is going to want to check out but that is why i interrupted our normal scheduled programming this morning to talk about this this has all been done in the last 24 hours and i can't wait to see what the next week brings but that is what I love about arcade collecting. I've been looking for this board forever. I have the board it runs on, just not the actual hard drive. And now I have a file from it, and we should all be able to play Castlevania the Arcade soon. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Otherwise, we're back to our normal programming tomorrow. Bye-bye.